Hi, my name is Julianne Cost. Let's take a moment to see how we can use the print module to print multiple images to a single JPEG file that we can then use to post to social media or share with others. With these three images selected, I'll choose the print module. First, in the layout style panel, I'll want to make sure to choose single image or contact sheet. Then in the print job panel, we'll change the print to option from printer to JPEG. I'll set the file resolution to 100 and make sure that the custom file dimensions is enabled. For this example, I'll enter 12 by 6 inches. The reason that I set the resolution to 100 is because it makes it easy for me to multiply the resolution by the number of inches to figure out the total pixel count in the file. Under Layout, I can remove all of the margins because we've chosen to print to a JPEG, not a printer. We can set the rows to 1 and the columns to 3 and I'll move the height slider all the way to the right. Then I'll move to the image settings panel. I'll enable stroke border and choose white as my color. Then I'll enter in two as my width. If the image aspect ratio of the image didn't fit the cells, I could enable the zoom to fill option. If needed, we can rearrange where each image falls within the print layout. I'll command click or control click on windows to deselect this image in the film strip and then drag to reorder it. Then I'll command click or control click on Windows to select it again. Now we're ready to print, so I'll choose Print to File. I'll give it a name, save it to my desktop, and click Save. When we look at the desktop, we can see the newly created JPEG. Now, if I thought that I was going to use this template again, I'd be sure to go to the template browser and click on the plus icon in order to save it. I'd give it a name and then create the template. Now, if I change settings or if I select another template, I can quickly navigate back to this layout and include different images. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.